All right, an alarming look at the total debt the federal government is racking up. In January 2009, the debt was more than $10 trillion. As of last week, the debt has soared to more than $17 trillion. That's a 66% increase, and more than the debt increased under all U.S. presidents from George Washington through Bill Clinton combined. For more on this, Fox Business Anchor Stu Varney, host of Varney and Company. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks, Molly. Uh, if you could talk about the historic nature of this. Oh, it is historic. Let me, let me give you the actual number. Since President Obama walked into the White House all the way through till now, we have added seven trillion sixty billion two hundred and fifty nine million four hundred and seventy four thousand four hundred and ninety seven dollars and fifty one cents to the debt. It's gone straight up. And by the time he walks out of the White House in January of two thousand and seventeen, it will be a total of ten trillion dollars added to the debt. Now, the thing to look at here is actually the interest that that's costing all of us. This fiscal year, we're paying out $353 billion just in interest. That is $7 billion a week. And 10 years from now, we'll be paying out $17 billion a week in interest. This is very, very important. Just think for a second, Molly, about the mortgage, which you may or may not have on your house. When you have a debt that's precisely the same size as the economy that you're running. In other words, your mortgage is the same size as the house that you've got, the same value as your house. You're in trouble because you're about to pass the tipping point, and that's where we are now. We're passing the tipping point where the overall debt and the money we owe on that debt is greater than the size of our economy. That, re that sends up the financial red signals. It, that's, the, that's the alarm bells start ringing right about now. Yeah, the math, these numbers, absolutely staggering. Stag and the big question is, is why? Where is it all coming from? Okay, the Great Recession, 2008 onwards, and the very slow recovery thereafter. A huge increase in government spending and no entitlement reform. Those three factors have pushed up the debt as it has been pushed up seven trillion in the five Obama years. Now, when we're talking about the the seven trillion, uh, that equals about sixty one thousand per person across right. America. The median income less than that at around fifty one thousand. So, what does that mean for the average American? It means that in the future, a lot of the tax dollars that we pay are going to be taken up by paying down or paying off this debt. There's going to come a point where tax, the amount of tax that we pay. A big, big chunk of it goes not to spending on the people of our economy, but to paying off the debt, the interest on the debt. And a big chunk of that interest goes overseas. It doesn't come here in America to stimulate our economy. It goes overseas. That's another huge problem. Yeah. A staggering problem, and even in previous administrations, the debt has been run up as well. We have a couple years left here in the Obama administration before a new president comes in. Is there any hope ahead for the American people? This is a long-time trend. Uh, at the, at the, way that, well, the trend has actually speeded up. The accumulation of debt has really speeded up because the numbers are so large. In the immediate future, there is absolutely no prospect of getting this debt under control. Unless you control entitlement spending, you haven't got a prayer of getting this debt really under control. Even though President Obama has brought down the deficit, that's the annual debt, he's brought it down, it's still running pretty close to a half trillion dollars a year. That's unprecedented. Un it's it really it's, incredible to hear all of this. You can't your arms around numbers that are in the trillions. You just can't do it. All right. Stuart Varney from, uh, from Varney and Company, thanks for joining us, bringing us a, a look at these rather staggering numbers. Really Have appreciate a nice day, Molly. Yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> all right.